Well, hello there, my fellow brothers, sisters, gamers, and anime lovers. Buster here again with our reaction video. And I'm sorry it took me a while to get back. Uh, it's been a busy week, and I've been trying to deal with some things, and especially with the Wi-Fi community. A lot of content needed to be spewed out, and a lot of things to do. Uh, got me a little bit busy, and right now I'm going to be prioritizing my YouTube. So prepare for a lot of videos coming out. Uh, last time, I <laughs> released a crap ton of videos, a uh, re uh, real lot of it. So, this time, we're going to do it again. But And prepare for more Smitty and more AI presidents. For now, we're going to go back to the AI presidents a bit. Until I go back to uh, the president's play, this is Crucials once more. Uh, the AI presidents return to SeaWorld. Why would you... Why would they go back there? I am curious and I am waiting for the part 2 of going to the alternate universe because that was the most amazing part of the freaking series. And right now I think it's gonna be mellowed down and I hope more will be coming on its way. Uh, to those subscribers, make sure that your settings to show your subscription is on so that you can receive a little bit of benefits as you come to my street my, my street my videos because this will pop out during my recordings making sure that some making me notified about anyone who's uh subscribing sorry for this long intro i really am out of touch and it's been a while it's been a hot minute so these are not scripted and i'm just going raw that's a raw reaction for you that's why I usually don't watch what I react to beforehand. Sometimes I have to remake some old videos, but I had to let months to months and months to pass by so I forget what I was watching, what I watched before. Something like this. Your name will pop out like this if you subscribe. Make sure your settings are on the to show your notification. It will block out the videos a bit, but it'll give you a Jew credit that you just subbed to me. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get on with the president's go to sea world again. Wow, this is perfect. No better way to set the sea world mood than by also looking the part. We should take a picture so I can post it on my Instagram. <laughs> Quiet, heathens. I have the. <laughs> I'm sorry for pausing early. What they're wearing makes me laugh. And of course, Trump's gonna be wearing a crown, this prima donna crown on my head and therefore I issue the commands for I am the king of Atlantis. You are all my subjects and thus must pledge your fealty to his majesty Donald the Great. I can't believe that instead of just buying an animal plush hat from that restaurant Donald had to bring a crown that he had stored away in his house. Quiet peon his majesty shall do as he desires and as subjects of my great kingdom the mightiest in the land may I add your criticisms and concerns are of no matter of import to one of such high nobility such as myself. Uh -huh. Donald, keep talking like that and you will anger me. And once a squid is angered or in fright, I will have no choice but to ink you. Kim, what the hell? You know, I once saw a man with a Burger King crown on an airplane. It was a trending video on Twitter, actually. Oh, God. He was causing quite the ruckus, constantly yelling. Okay, how about we move on to a different topic before that conversation gets out of hand? I concur. <laughs> Come, Jester, provide what? a lay of the land before us, and let us confer as to where we may begin our epic adventure. Well, I say we go to the Explorer's Aquarium. Nothing like seeing the gargantuan and majestic creatures of the deep to truly humble oneself. The Great, His Holiness, the High King, oh so very high, might I add, recognizes uh -huh. your suggestion but offers a counterproposal. I say we go to Atlantis. It would be an incredible boost of morale for the people to see their king returning to his kingdom. They will Get be more excited to receive me than if they were to see Jason Momoa himself. Ah, uh, but I wanted to see the sea critters. Here, how about this? We go to Atlantis first, then we go to the aquarium after. Hooray! The High King does not compromise with common folk. Donald, don't be an ass. Okay, fine, you bunch of babies. Um, I hate to break the bad news to you, Donald. What is it, my subject? There's a weight restriction on this roller coaster of 200 pounds. Impossible! How can a king be denied access to his own kingdom? How heavy Great. are you? Once again, Donald's daily supersize me diet comes at the expense of ruining our fun. Quiet, Kim. Maybe if I remove my crown, I can meet the weight capacity. Donald, I don't think a plastic crown weighs 50 pounds. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Come, lackeys. Let us visit the nearest convenience store. I want to buy some candy bars to cheer me up. 
Nothing like a chocolate-induced dopamine coma to right the wrongs that this insidious amusement park has done unto me. Oh, uh, but I wanted to see the sea critters. Don't worry, Joe. We'll see them after Donald gets his coral chocolate reefs. Yeah, Donald's not Donald when he's hungry. He does realize we literally just ate 10 minutes ago, right? Some people, I swear, they just have no self-control. Yes, miss. I will take four of your chocolate coral reefs and three Mountain Dews, please. Why, yes, Tree? I do happen to be a bodybuilder. I'm just picking up these nutrient-dense snacks Bull. so that I can keep up with my caloric needs. My body is in an anabolic state after all this walking. Huh. Yes, miss, you have a wonderful day as well. Delicious. This is my favorite part. You Minecraft drinks sound effect. So what time is dinner? Donald, you cannot be serious. Oh, you wow. just ate and you're Look at all these asking... tiny fellas here. Donnie, do you think you can buy me one? They're so cute. Look at this tiny fella here. Or I shall call you Fluffers. Fluffers the killer whale. You know what? Sure, Joe. It's important to keep the public order in one's kingdom stable. And if buying Fluffers is what it will take, then that is what I will do. Excuse me, miss? Why, yes, I do happen to be all natural. You're not the first one to ask if I'm on steroids, I can tell you that. It's so refreshing to hear that all my hard work has been paying off. Here's my card. I want to buy that plushie for my best friend over there. What? Declined? Damn it, how can this be possible? It appears as though the king's treasury may be empty at this current moment. Just like your country, Donald, you too have accrued an insurmountable debt. Rest <laughs> assured though, Joey, I, like North Korea, am benevolent to my people. We always put the wants and needs of our citizens far before that of the states, as I am sure you all are well aware of. Okay. I shall pay for your plushie. Wow, thanks, Kim. You hear that, Fluffers? We're saved. This should cover it. Kim, you idiot. Is that Monopoly money? What the hell are you talking about? In Pyongyang, that is enough to buy you an entire car. Also, the reason why North Korea's economy is so strong, and the reason why we have no debt, is because whenever we need more money, we just print more. It isn't that hard, Donald. Come on. Simple arithmetic. Joe, I'm sorry, buddy, but I think you're gonna have to part ways with Fluffers. No, but we were becoming so close. Just give me some time alone with him so I can say my goodbyes. I'm sorry, Joey. We'll bring him with us next time, Joseph. Well, Fluffers, it's just you and me. Let's treasure the time we have left together. Holy hell, what's taking them so long? My guess, Donald's probably ordering lobster. Either that lobster. or Joe got lost. I'm gonna go in to find them. Sup, brother? What the hell, guys? What took you so long? George just went in to find you. Please don't make me recount the traumatic events of what recently transpired, Barry. My heart is still heavy from my departure with Fluffers. Um, okay. Well, I guess we wait for George now. Now, unlike you three, George's brain is actually wired correctly, and it shouldn't take him too long to return. That was unnecessarily hurtful, Barack. Okay, I'm sorry, Joe. Hmm, what's this? A little killer whale? Well, aren't you a cute little thing? Oh, oh hey, oh, look. No. There's a button on you. It says, press me to record. Wonder what the last person that picked you up had to say. And there we were on the train tracks. Now let me tell you something, Fluffers. Back in the day, me and my friend Richter Scale Rick would actually race down the tracks while the townsfolk and the governor watched. Thought you said it wouldn't take him too long, Barack. He'll be out any second. <laughs> the winner would be lathered in... Why are you listening to him? And would Go have out! the honor of counting the governor's cherry trees in his front lawn. Oh, of course, this was back when, in order to get ice cream, you had to enter William's white van in order to get his triple caramel sundae. Okay, is there like a portal to Narnia in there or what? Why is it taking him so long? Typical George, <laughs> always making us wait for him. I, His Holiness, the High King, would never disrespect my subject's time in such an egregious manner. Yeah, my right. My good friend Nickel Nate decided to enter old William's white van. And from that day onwards... Are you still there? My God, did this actually happen? Oh shit, I'm getting a call from Barry. Guess I lingered here a bit too long. Yellow, W speaking. George, I don't know where you are, but just meet us at the aquarium, okay? Roger, I'll be there. Wow, what a spectacular view. Oh my gosh, Fluffers, is that you? Joe, Fluffers was a plushie. This is an actual orca. There's no way it can be him. No, it's him, I know it is. I feel a special connection to him. Can someone please get this guy a doctor? Guys, I know you'll think I'm crazy, but I can actually hear him. He thinks I'm a great white shark. Uh, are we seriously letting him do this? It's no silly matter, Barack. In fact, in North Korea, we have druids that also communicate with wildlife. Uh, is that true? No, George, it's not true. 
At least I don't think. His High Majesty of the Great Kingdom of Atlantis would like to see how this state of affairs proceeds. I swear I'm the only normal one here. Guys, George, he's incredibly dude, he's stressed fine. and depressed due to the conditions they have him in here. He's telling me to free him. I do got to say, it is odd how he does seem fixated onto Joe. It's almost as if he won't leave Joe's side because he's seeking his help. I'm telling you, druidic communication is a very real thing. In North Korea, we have a two-year mandatory druidic military service for every citizen. In fact, I'm a little rusty, but I can probably still confirm if Joe's translations are accurate. He said he won't last another night in here. Jesus. We can't let him suffer in there. We have to help him. Well, how do you plan on getting him out of here? If only I brought my trident of Poseidon, I could have easily manipulated these waters into a tsunami that would have delivered all of these creatures safely back to the ocean. Well, I admit I was skeptical at first, but if this truly is a North Korea custom, then I guess you know what you're doing, Kim. But what can we possibly do? I don't think we'd have an easy time convincing the staff to help us. Oh, no. Break, damn you! Jesus! Joe! Joe! Joe, where did you get that? Hmm? Oh, this here? Well, there was this young, angry white gentleman in the parking lot earlier. He had a duffel bag with a list of names and what looked like some weapons inside. I think he must have been a LARPer or something. I kindly asked him if I could have this pickaxe because it reminded me of the one in Minecraft. Joe, I don't think that guy was a LARPer. Holy shit. Okay, well, what are you going to do with that? We'll hit the glass, of course, you silly fiddle. And then what? Is it going to walk to the ocean? We could get a tow truck. I have a helicopter. What did he say, Kim? They're torturing him. He's saying they treat him like it's Guantanamo Bay. Well, fuck. He does look kind of sad in there. <laughs> it's a known stereotype that we East Asians are known for never brutalizing or harming marine life, or animals in general. We gotta save him. Okay, okay so here's what we do. We go to management and tell them that we have Joe and a druid in our group. We tell them that through communicating with fluffers, we know he's suffering, and that they either release him or we bring this to the public, and they have to face another Blackfish-level lawsuit. That could actually work. Seems like the best course of action. Oh, look how happy he looks in there. Thanks for helping me out, guys. The King of Atlantis, His High Holiness, the Great, oh so very mighty as well, may I add, fights for the well-being of all creatures in his domain, be that human, merman, or orca. No gratitude is necessary, Joey. Kim Jong would never let a beautiful orca such as Fluffers suffer under his watch. I do have to say, he does look quite grateful for what we did. Off you go, Fluffers. Bye, bye now. Hopefully we will meet again someday. Do any of you guys hear something? Oh! Bye, Fluffers. You, you know, idiots. this might be a bad time to say this, but I actually flunked my druid classes. I was kind of just winging what I thought he was saying. Fluffers? Well, there goes our day of relaxation, I guess. I was really looking forward to an actual normal day after all that multiverse jumping. Speaking of which, when are we going to go back and help Elon? He doesn't want us jumping until he figures out what the blip in the system was. He said he'll call us when the anomaly is detected and corrected. Well, I guess our day is still free then. Anyone up for some sushi? Really, Kim? With what just happened to Fluffers? Ah, uh, sorry, Joey. Too soon. <laughs> All right. Ah, that's it. Uh, I'll be going back to a little bit of Smitty and then some other... I think TF2. Someone recommended me to react to TF2 Pootis, I think. I don't know what it is. Don't remember the name of the video, but... I'll be going back to that so my TF2 community can enjoy something about TF2. And because I've run out of things to react to and there's only a few. Team Neighborhood was a fun watch and I wish I could just... I wish to be updated. It's been a long bit. But still, I hope you guys enjoy this. Until next time, I hope you guys enjoy. More videos will be on its way real soon. So, for now, 
This is bye-bye for now. Until next time. Buster here is finally signing out.